Hey guys, Shock here from Shock Tech, and in today's video, we have some great news. We have One UI 8.0 beta number two that is being now pushed out to Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So I have the S25 Ultra right here running beta number one. If I go down over here, go to software update, tap on download and install, it's going to say that we have a brand new update. Now, this is a significantly large update. It is almost one gigabytes, as you can see. It's actually over one gigabytes in this case. 1,236.26 gigabytes. It does have the latest security patch and it's Android 8 with Android 16. You can see it is doing the seamless update as I speak, but if I do go over here, we have a lot of fixes, guys. We have a new feature for the interpreter performance. That's the translation app. We have a whole bunch of bugs that have been fixed. So let's quickly install this. I'm going to restart. We're going to look at everything. And of course, we also have some camera enhancements and improvements. All right, so you can see it is installed. We're going to do a quick restart. We're going to be right back. All right, so let me go back to that change log real quick. Uh, right over here. Now, before I go to the change log and test the fixes, I do want to show you guys, if you go to About Phone, and if you go over to Software Information, at the bottom, you can click the Android Security Patch Level, and that is going to take you to the latest patches that were applied. So if I scroll down over here, tap on read. And if I go over here and tap on Samsung, you are able to read in detail all the security vulnerabilities that were patched. So you can see we have a whole bunch of high patches and nothing critical or moderate, but high is also important. So the phone is now even more secure, which is good considering that it's a beta. Under software update, I'm gonna tap on last update and let me check the fingerprint sensor. There was an issue with that. Now there was a lot of little things, but let's look at this. Fixed and intermittent fingerprint recognition screen failure and recognition errors and also some unlock errors for the secure folder. So let's see how the fingerprint responds now. So let's see, I'm gonna do it like five times, okay? So let's go in here, let's do it again. I'm also gonna do it from the lock screen. Let me just wake up the lock screen and do it from here. Okay, so that is actually very good, okay? So any fingerprint issues must have been fixed. You can check and drop a comment and let me know down below. Now, if you go over here, it says we had some text alignment problems with the now brief. So let's see, where's my now brief at? Right over here. I don't see any text alignment problems if I tap on it. It's gonna go inside, everything looks nice and clear. We don't have a problem as you can see. Now if I go over into my lock screen, let's see if we have the now brief there. It's not showing up right now, but that should be fixed as well. Alrighty, uh, let's go back here into the log. It says improved battery widget icon, okay? And also fix the issue with the widget size on the lock screen increasing. So let's look at the lock screen and see if there's anything funny going on here. Wallpaper and style, tap over here, okay? First, let's check the widget. So let's go to the battery widget. I'm gonna add them both, okay? Let's delete this one, add this one. Uh, delete this one and add this one. So we have both our widgets in there. I'm gonna tap on done, I'm gonna go to the lock screen. Couple times in and out, sometimes things get messed up, but right now it looks nice and clean. Let's go inside, let's do it one more time. Okay, so that widget is uh, improved and also any bugs relating to that widget have been fixed. There were some issues with widget sizes just increasing in size for no reason, that's been fixed as well. And then we have a couple volume fixes. So it says fix the issue with volume being lowered when making a Bluetooth call in a vehicle. I'm gonna have to test this in the car to make sure this is resolved but I'm sure it is resolved if they're saying so. Even though I was having Android Auto connectivity issues, I'm gonna test that independently and see if that's worked. So if you were playing a game and you were unable to hear a notification, that's been fixed as well. You're gonna hear it now. Now some Galaxy AI weather wallpapers are fixed. So they're talking about this. If I pinch the screen, go to wallpaper and style and go over to change wallpapers, so here's the AI wallpaper that reacts to weather. So they have fixed that. So let's see how that is looking now. I'm gonna choose a wallpaper. Here's one right here. So if I tap on play, uh, if it was raining or snowing outside, you would see rain or snow. Wow, you know what? That looks much better. 
So now we have water droplets. Look at that, that's perfect, okay? So here's the snow, so that's working properly. And then, like I said, we have the rain, but we also have the water droplets, which is great, okay? That adds another layer to this uh, background wallpaper. So that's been fixed as well. It should be behaving properly. And then we had the gesture problem where you could not go back. Let's see if that's working. Let's do it five times. Let's do it twice. Okay, so that's working as well. That's been fixed. And then we have the air command fix and the alarm sound fix. And of course, we have some major stabilization to the camera application, okay? So you're not gonna see new features, but we do still have the new slightly modified features like when you swipe up, it brings up the control panel. So that's right there. But beyond that, throughout all these modes and the software features, off the camera, they have stabilized it, making the camera better. So if you were having any uh, weird photo problems, you can recheck and that should be fixed. It is a ma massive up update, so a lot of things happen under the hood, which is fantastic. I've been using the Samsung Galaxy S25 Edge because I was having so many issues with One UI 8. So now I'm gonna switch back to this guy and see how it behaves and if it is worth it to carry daily. Guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Have a fantastic day.